welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the year and I am sharing my keto pumpkin bread recipe. I will have the full recipe link down below so that way you guys can check it out and easily make this at home. We're gonna start out with three quarter cup of melted butter. I use grass fed Kerrygold butter and then I'm using this unsweetened almond and cashew milk and I am using one third of a cup. You're going to mix this all together and then you're gonna go ahead and crack four eggs. Make sure you give this all a really good stir, whisk it all up. Be careful not to get the butter on your shirt. If you are completely dairy free, you can also use melted coconut oil instead of butter. Now we're going to add one cup of canned pumpkin. Make sure it is not the canned pumpkin pie that has the extra spices and the sugar added. This is literally just canned pumpkin. You can use fresh pumpkin, but make sure that you really try and get out a lot of the liquid because it will make it much more liquidy than the actual canned pumpkin. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a half cup of the pure erythritol and stevia blend. I will have that link down below so that you know which sweetener I am using. If you don't like things very sweet, I would actually cut down the sweetener to one quarter cup. This bread is very sweet with that whole one half cup. Now I'm adding one and a half cups of almond flour, one half cup of coconut flour, one half cup of flaxseed meal, and one quarter cup of hemp seeds. Add four teaspoons of baking powder, and then we're gonna go ahead and add all of our spices. Do one pinch of salt, and I'm doing two teaspoons of cinnamon. If you already have a pumpkin pie spice pre-made, you could easily just add one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. I'm adding one half teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cardamom, and one quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Now I'm just going to stir all of this up really, really well. And as a bonus to the recipe, I decided I wanted to add some macadamia nuts. These are filled with fats and I just, I love these as a snack. So I thought instead of adding walnuts to my normal pumpkin bread, I would pump up the fat by adding macadamia nuts. So I'm just chopping up about a half a cup of macadamia nuts. This is totally optional. You do not have to add this into the bread since macadamia nuts are a little expensive, but I just loved this addition to the bread. Stir this up really, really well and then I'm going to put it in this smaller pan. I can't remember the dimensions but I will actually leave the pan linked from Amazon down below in the, in the description box. I really really love using this pan for making my keto breads just because it's a little smaller and so you actually can get more of a loaf size since bread doesn't rise as well with keto and so I even use this when I'm making just regular sandwich bread, and I just love how much it turns into a loaf. So I will have that link down below. Go ahead and throw it in the oven at 350 degrees. I baked mine for 70 minutes, and then I let it cool for about 10 minutes in the actual pan. And then it was just very easy to just plop right out of the pan, it came right out. I didn't grease the pan at all. And I love topping mine with more grass-fed butter. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.